how to create an automotive parts and accessories e-commerce website on Weebly. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own online store using this platform. So let's get started by cre creating a new account by clicking on the sign up button. And if you already have an account, just go with login and then type in your email or your username and click on next and you will proceed to type in your password and you will be able to log in right away so this is the dashboard of the platform as you can see but we can see this unless you created a site from the scratch so i i already created this website so i'm just going to click on shopping and then click on add site and i'm going to show you how to create your store so you need to answer these questions or go through these steps let's go with i need a website with an online store and then give a name to your store you can always change the name then go with continue and answer these questions also i'm not sitting yet i'm not sure yet and then you choose the category of your store in here so that that's based on your niche so my niche is automatic parts and accessories so let's see if i can find something like that so i have a jewelry and accessories so let's go with that if you can't find your category in here just go with other and click on continue and if you already have a store in the real world give them the address if not you just skip this part and give them a few seconds to build your store so this is the dashboard guys of the platform and in your left you can see some sections and i'm going to explain them for you real quick to proceed to the editing phase so let's start with the website and it's where you can also edit your site or set up your domains then we have the items and it's obviously or basically the where you can create products for your store and you can set categories for those products or options or if you want to create coupons or gift cards also you can check the customer reviews and item preferences in this section which is the items then we have the fulfillment before that we have orders and it's where you can check your orders orders that you have in your store then we have the fulfillment and it's where you can set the pickup settings and the shipping settings also then we have the reports and the first one we have summary and it's the summary of all the reports that you have in here so if you want to see all your reports you can just go to the summary if not if you want to see each one separated you can just go through each one of them starting from the site's traffic to the site's activity the sources and the online sales and the sites items and so on so let's close this section and let's proceed to the next one which is the marketing section and it's basically where you can set all the things that are related to growing your audience from the emails to the automated to the ads also mailing lists and the segments also the setup and if you want to also see the summary of all these you can just click on the summary and you can see it in this button in here so let's proceed to the next section which is the communication and it's where you can manage the email and text alerts the pop-ups messenger and also the abundant cards so you can do all that in this section let's proceed to the last but not least section which is settings and it's where you will have the general settings of your store if you want to set the address or a company name as you can see you can set a company name or an address for your store or an email or a phone number also then you have the checkout and it's where you can set or connect your payment processors like your stripe account or your paypal account also you can change the currency and the country in this change button 
then you have the sales taxes and it's where you can add a tax rate and make that make that set it up for your store then you have the units also it's about your products it's where, it's where you can set up the units of your products as you can see so let's proceed to the overview and let's head to the editing phase so to edit your website you just click on edit site and give it a few seconds to load just give it a few seconds guys the first thing you will have to do is choose a style for your store so let's wait for it to load and let's see which one we're going to choose so here we have some styles you can always change that later but if you want to choose them from now just go on and try until you find the one that suits you so let's try another one i think i'm going to choose this one it looks pretty basic so this one is good when you're done you click on hide styles and then you click on apply site styles to save the changes that you did and as you can see it is this is how our online store looks and here in your left you can change everything in your store if you want to add a logo you can do that in this button if you want to change the colors as you can see you can do all of that also in here and then we have the fonts also if you want to change the fonts of your store you can do pretty much all of that in this place as you can see let's go back let's click on done and let's scroll down as you can change the shapes of the buttons from rounded to sharp to fill as you can see the shape of images also and here you have the badges if you want to add these ones you will need to upgrade from the trial version that we are using right now to the paid version obviously and if you want to set to reset the settings to the default you can just click on this button so that's it for today's video guys i just wanted to give you an idea about this platform and how it works i hope i achieved that don't forget to like the video subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends